Hi everybody, welcome to hack a mall Deco Created's Hack It series. I'm Anais and I'm going to hack our winter 2020 framed art. As many of you have gotten the box and are so excited, you have received this piece. And some of you may have a place for it, some of you may not. And so this series is going to kind of help you put a, your own spin on an item like this. So one of the easiest things that you can do to uh, pieces like this is you can get a command strip and you can get a little, it's a command hook actually, and you can just place it on top as like this and you can get a very simple wreath and you can put it over and so this is not a fix, so hopefully you can see it there. And it is very simple, something that you can add. You can even add colors if you want each season. You can add your own florals and whatever touches you want. And this is the simplest way to hack an item like this. But if you're a little bit more crafty, but not too crafty, you can join me on this adventure where we are going to affix some wood letters onto the frame. So let's go ahead and remove our item. And what I did was that I bought some little wood letters and you can see them here. And I picked out a phrase for the season. So we're going to affix, let it snow onto this patterned item. So easiest way to do this, and you can paint it any color you want, but I felt that for this color pattern and so kind of like what I have in my own house, I chose to paint it because I'm not that crafty uh, with a regular wood marker and it's black so it's going to definitely pop out of this print so you definitely want to choose a color that is is not going to blend because like you know if you pick green you have tones of green here white it's not going to necessarily pop up and leaving it natural as you can tell if you like it you can definitely do it but i'm going to paint mine black and so let's get started super simple you're going to remove the top and you're going to start painting. So before I get into painting, let's cover what you're going to need for this, uh, this hack. So you're going to need some wood letters. You're going to need a glue gun or some kind of a fixing tape, maybe like a double sided tape. You can definitely do that. Uh, I know that command strips actually have these like little dots and you can just, place them in the back and you would be able to affix them no problem. So let's get started. All right, and so one of the easiest things to do is to just paint the letter. I am a little bit crazy and I like to paint the sides, but I'm going to either leave that for last or not do that right now. So we're gonna paint these and I think this is like one of the quickest hacks that you can do, it's super simple. You can even include the kids if you've got kids because kids generally like painting. Um, and so I'm gonna paint my hands too because that's, you know, you haven't hacked something until you get dirty. And as you can see, we are just painting them. So one of the reasons that I chose these letters is because there's like a 3D effect to them and it pops up. You can definitely use, uh, what are they, um, vinyl letters. And if that works, that's really simple. And so I'm gonna go ahead and paint these out. So one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna make sure we cover at least the edges so that when you do place it down, you know, you don't see the colors of you don't see the color of the wood do it oh, i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna make sure all right so i'm just gonna give it a second pass just to make sure that i've hit the edges that um good with the way it looks personally i would paint the sides uh right here so that it's fully covered, but you don't have to. Sometimes, you know, people like that look or you like everything painted. That's kind of like a personal thing. Um, 
so I'm going to go ahead and just give it like a little bit of a pass so that it's it's not fully painted and I can still hold these at this point if you paint it, it look like that um, I kind of like that I'm going to paint all the edges yeah, yeah I think I'm going to paint the edges so I'm going to paint the edges because this is bothering me and hopefully I can paint all the edges um, if you can't get into any of the crevices with a pen you can use a paintbrush possibly and kind of like wet the paintbrush with the the paint i guess you would call it and so now that it's dried we're gonna go ahead and we're going to lay out um the way that we want it to lay out on the pattern so we're gonna grab our board we're going to place it down here and so i'm not going to do it horizontally i'm going to do it vertical this hangs vertical but you can also always command strip it depending on how you're hanging it so if you're going to use like a long pre-cut wood letter you can put it horizontal or you can do vertical and hang it with the hanging hook that it comes with but you always have that option so since we're doing vertical let's go ahead and move everything out and i am going to grab my dry letters and I'm going to lay them out here as you can see I wing it but if you are very much a perfectionist uh, you can't measure the board and you can always space out the exact amount from the top of the board to the first letters so that you have equal spacing I'm going to eye it I want to say it's because I'm super professional but it's also because I'm not that great at measuring things so i think i probably have a better chance at just winging it all right so i'm going to lay out my letters and as you can see the black tends to pop out and so let's see and then it's fun because once you're playing around with the layout of it you can say oh maybe i want to do something cute like this um you know you can wiggle your letters if that's what you like you can get really creative with it and so I'm going to visually eye it right now. And I think I'm, I want it to be just kind of straight. I'm a fun person, but I'm not fun in my art. <laughs> so let's do it this way. And then once you have kind of set the way that you want it, you can take, if you're winging it, but you're not that, you don't trust yourself that much you can kind of make little marks so that you know where each letter goes and maybe you want to center a little mark on each letter so you know okay here's where it goes here's top bottom however you want to kind of set that up so once you've set it up you can either bring out your double-sided tape or you can use a hot glue gun we're going to use a hot glue gun for this one so i'm going to go ahead warm up my hot glue gun and we'll be back okay so now that you've let your letters dry and you've placed them on your board we are going to affix them to the board so you can either use the double-sided tape that we mentioned or i'm going to use the hot glue gun so i'm only going to put a small amount of glue on my letters because i don't want that whole stringy glue gun situation so i'm going to go ahead and do that and lightly press down and we will do that for each letter So one of the things that I do to kind of trick or a visual thing that I do in order to, especially for letters like this or for words like this, I see that let it snow and in between each letter, I'm going to put my next letters. So I know that that's how it's going to work. And then snow is four. So I visually go, okay, this and this letter are going to line up. This and this letter are going to line up. And that's one of the ways that I kind of visually line this up. But you guys can do however you feel comfortable. That's just my own little trick. So I'm gonna continue. All right, so you always get that little stringy glue stuff and then we can just go in 
while you're doing it don't even worry about it because we don't want you burning yourselves but just go in and give it a quick little pass make sure that everything looks good to you um with a glue gun it sticks quick and and pretty on there so maybe you want to use something that has that is a little bit more forgiving but that's all you know depends on what you guys want so now all my letters are affixed and this is what you end up with let it snow so please if you guys hack this item share it with us pop it in the comments below share it with us on the deco creators we love a good hack i mean we kind of it's our thing so um welcome to the hack em all series and we hope that you love our winter 2020 hacks see you next time mm -hmm.